Normally this would be the video where I had you guys vote on what character you wanted me to take in the next DLC, but I already know the goddamn answer. Sort of how the YouTube order knows how he's going to be told to go fuck himself. <laughs> With the season of bullshit coming out on Tuesday, the current standings have my Warlock and my Hunter, they're tied at the top, and they're basically one ahead of my Titan. The vote will naturally be for my Titan, because that's just how the voting has gone since day one. It's always been one ahead for every character, and the other ones always catch up at some point. Now, with each season is the race to rank up as quickly as possible, mainly to play the end game content without spending hours on that shit because you're so underleveled. You know, over on um, Reddit, as well as some YouTube videos, there are guides on how to prepare for the launch. People who want to max out quickly, people who want to get into the raid immediately. I'm going to talk about the raid in a couple minutes, but I've been prepping myself. I'm ready to go. I got my two ballistic longs. I got bounties. I've edged my characters all the way to rank up levels. I have all the materials that I need. However, there are some bounties I do need help with, and those are the clan bounties. Hopefully, there will be people online starting tonight, because I do need to get at least two of these fucking clan bounties done. And I think I'm going to go with the easiest ones, which are probably complete a raid, as well as, I think it's three Gambit Prime matches this week, if I'm not mistaken. Whatever the fuck it is, I want to complete at least two of those bounties. That way, when Tuesday rolls out, Whoever's in my party with me, we could just roll and play as much content as possible to rank up my characters. Now, hopefully, if anyone's going to join me on Tuesday, you prep the same way I'm prepping right now. Go to Reddit. Go to YouTube. See all the guys. They're all pretty much the same thing. They're telling you, get your two ballistic logs. Have seven Dreaming City bounties done, with the exception of the Lost Sectors, because we know a Lost Sector one will come out next Tuesday when the... Uh, when the DLC launches, do half of your Blind Well Tier 3, that way you're ready at 50%. Do your Zer Invitation all the way up to the end. Do not do the final piece. There's usually two, three, or four things you have to do. Do whatever it is, but leave one last checkbox off. That way we can complete the invitation on Tuesday. Then starting tomorrow, on Saturday, do not play any regular Gambit, do not do any Strikes, don't go into the Crucible, and don't do the Heroic Adventures, because all of those will reset on Tuesday as a daily activity, and that's four more additional powerful engrams that you can get. So you could do all of that shit tonight, but you can't do it starting Saturday. You could still do your Forges, you could still do Reckoning, you could still do Gambit Prime, the Raids, but don't do the four dailies because that will take away one of your powerful upgrades. Whoever gets into the party with me on Tuesday, we're just gonna knock shit out as quickly as possible. I already got my guide, I already got my game plan. I know exactly what the fuck I'm gonna hit, exactly what time I'm gonna hit it. Obviously, if anybody gets a prime engram, we're gonna head right back to the tower, cash that motherfucker in. But essentially, I wanna rank up as much as possible. I'm sure people are probably thinking, oh, you must be getting raid ready. You must be trying to get into the raid to try worlds first. No! <laughs> I don't give a fuck about that shit. Reality is, that whole rage first crap is gonna be basically one of the streamer teams. One of these assholes that have nothing else better to do but to sit on their ass and play for hours and hours on end, but that is not going to be me. Because the raid time launches right around the time that I normally log off so I can start either making dinner or spend time with the better half. So, I'm not gonna be able to start raiding at that particular time. Now, Bungie went ahead and they decided to cap some of the encounters at certain power levels, which by the way, I do agree with. I have been saying this for countless raids, but there are some times where I got into the raids and I felt completely under leveled, or I hadn't even been able to get into the raids on weekend number one because I was so massively under leveled. This time, they're capping you out at particular power levels on day one. Now obviously after the 24 hours, then it's gonna be opened up to whatever power level people are gonna be able to get into, but at that point, I should be good enough where by the weekend, I'll be powerful enough, probably 720, 730s or some shit like that. I don't know what it will be, but essentially I'm gonna be off Tuesday, Wednesday, I'm gonna get in my rating, and this is probably gonna be the last time I take days off of video gaming. <laughs> but essentially, I'm gonna try and get in as much as possible. I won't do the raid day one. I will not do it within the first 24 hours. My main goal is to get as high as possible to do the raid probably Friday, Saturday, or some shit like that. I'm gonna do the prior raids, as soon as they're unlocked, I'm going to do Last Wish, I'm going to do Scourge of the Past, that way I can get all my gear, I can rank up, get all the powerful drops in order to get as high as possible. I'm debating about whether or not I want to actually stream this on Tuesday, mainly because I'm not going to be doing anything new. I know that they have the new event called the Menagerie, or Menagerie a Trois, whatever they want to call that shit. <laughs> it's the six-player match-made activity. 
I don't know if I'm going to be high enough level, and to be honest, the majority of what I'm going to be doing as soon as the DLC starts is going to be old shit. I'm going to be going to Dreaming City, I'm going to be going to the Forge, I'm going to be doing Reckoning, Gambit Prime, Shattered Throne, whatever it is that has a powerful engram, I'm going to be doing on that particular day. It's nothing new. It's not new story, it's not new content, it's not the brand new raid. It is essentially the same shit people have seen all these fucking months later. It's the same fucking grind. Whether or not I do a stream, be up to you guys, but I really don't know or don't really care if I do a stream this time around. Now, the final thing that was mentioned by Bungie is that the Thursday after the content releases, they're going to have a video stream showing off the future of Destiny 2 or whatever the fuck they're going to be doing. I assume that means they're going to be having some kind of DLC or something like that. I don't know what they're going to do in the fall, but essentially we're going to find out Thursday after this new DLC releases. To be quite fucking honest, what a stupid fucking day to do that. <laughs> I mean, wait at least a week until your content has basically dropped. So essentially, you're going to roll out the season of opulence. And then two days later, oh, hey, look, we're going to have this new DLC coming out in the fucking future. I, I just don't get that logic. It doesn't make any sense. At least... Wait a week. Let people play this content. Let them see what they're getting their final money's worth regarding this season pass bullshit that you sold off on anybody. And then we'll see exactly what you sell in the future. But shit, give it some time, man. But essentially, it'll come out next Thursday. We'll see what that content is. It will be Bungie's first content away fully from Activision. Activision's name's been pretty much taken off of this entire product. So eventually, we'll see what that is. But in any event, starting tonight... If you're in the clan, try to log in. We can get some matches in. If you're not in the clan, I think there's like one spot left. <laughs> so if you get to that one spot, cool. We can get some games in. Probably be Gambit Prime at least tonight. Probably Saturday, get in some raids. Doesn't matter which one. Last Wish, Scourge of the Past. If people are trying to chase for a thousand voices or the Anarchy. Or who knows? Maybe I'll do all of them. But essentially, I want to get into the content these next couple days. And I need to do it with clan members. Those who are also doing what I'm doing with all the prep work. If you need help with that, I can certainly help. There's certain things that I can and can't do. Not going to be able to probably do the blind well because I'm probably going to be edged up all the way to the end and I can't do another one. But I can do Forges, I can do Reckoning, I can do Gambit Prime, and also the Raid, of course. So for those still prepping, this is your last chance for a couple days on the weekend. And if you need my help, that'll be the time to do it. So as always, rate, comment, subscribe, and all that good shit. And I'll see you guys in the next video.